being able to start the show off with a bang of a performance like that. It's, you know, first U.S. card, first round, or first fight, first round knockout, first knockout on the U.S. card. It, it's something that just goes down in my history books. It's really fun and a very memorable night for me. <laughs> Yeah, and I remember last time we spoke, we talked about we talked about the knockout and how you it has to come organically. Is is that exactly how you felt when you were I mean, you were showing some really good boxing skills that first 2 minutes. Yeah, that's exactly how it felt. I was I wasn't, you know, my thoughts for those first 2 minutes were not like look for the knockout. My thoughts were just execute this game plan that we've been working for like a month and a half and that's exactly what i did yeah so you went in there handled business um so it's may right now so what is next are we going to see you back in the ring anytime soon or is it going to be a world title shot like what's i guess where do we go from here yeah i mean that's a, i mean well i'd love to get back in there again of course i'd i'd hope for end of something end of summer so that will come by fairly quick it's already may yeah hopefully something end of summer called for the kickboxing title but that's up to the company whatever you know what agenda they want to do and and whatnot but they know my intentions well cool. so so it'll only take you less than may June. so less than two months to get ready for another fight especially given you had zero damage done on you yeah, yeah, it'd, it'd be nice just, you know, quickly rolling back into it. And of course, you know, even in the quote unquote off season, sorry, that's my dog, you know, you're, you're still training year round. So it's not like I have to completely start from scratch.